Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got a job to go work down in the end of the driveway. So let's get started. Okay, so what we got to do here, clear out some more of these saplings and open up more. Fun, fun. <laughs> so we're going to do like normal, cut them off, hire, pull them out. Trying to go through and knock them higher. Get a bunch of that done. I wasn't speeding down the driveway, was I? No, you went off a couple of times. <laughs> I know.
and then see what we think after it's cleaned up. There's one right there in front of the tractor. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that one better go. Cutting these into shorter lengths and hauling them back, or like dragging with four wheeler. We could make a pile and choker them together, and you could pull them back there if you mm -hmm. want. Okay, so now the plan is we're gonna um, pile a bunch of these. We don't want all this brush laying down here. So we're gonna drag it out back. So, here we go. Okay, you guys, right here. If you keep watching, I run into a tree. I don't notice that I can't see and I run into a tree somewhere. You see me stop and then Johnny shows a tree that I ran into. Not that big a deal, but kind of funny. Okay guys, this is actually how long the driveway is. Quite long, it's about 900 feet. Yeah, I was going to put this in fast forward like I did when I drove down the driveway, but I kind of wanted to show you guys how long the driveway is.
Yeah. Oh. What, did you tape the whole thing? Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? So he did get a part right Uh-huh. <laughs> Good. Okay guys, so punched on there at the end of the driveway. Didn't get recorded because the GoPro battery went dead. So missed a bunch of footage. But we took out a couple more trees there. That was a double. I still gotta go along with the tractor and smooth back out because and see I think it's over here. I think it's over there somewhere i pushed up broke some roots plowed up this way break some more roots well that one was really hard to get out so i worked on it for quite a while but yeah we should be able to make the corner now and neil the guy that built this cabin and lived here um he came up as i was running chainsaw as soon as i shut off he scared me he yelled at me <laughs> but you just have to know him but yeah he just came wandering through the woods because <laughs> he knows all these trails i told him we we're gonna be up here so he came and talked to us for a while there was supposed to be a local hand pump well and he kept telling me about it so it was about a mile away and we took a walk down there but Apparently somebody took it over and claiming that it's theirs now even though it was a public hand pump well. So that kind of sucked. I was kind of looking forward to using that for water. But I don't know how well this shows but um, I think I can make that turn now. We're going to have to. Just gotta get the trailer out of here tomorrow so tractor grateful useful great useful you know what I'm trying to say can't speak tonight I guess no I'm not drunk either I didn't work too much up there because priorities to get in the driveway now we put up a huge pile of wood out of everything we're cutting. But this thing's getting there. A lot more videos to come. Remember, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see more of. Because developing property is a lot of work. I tried to do some more video on on ain't doing things like i don't know if you guys caught it a little bit ago when i ran into the tree with tractor when Joni was behind me video taping but anyways let's get some more work done enough jaw jacking okay guys so we tried to make the corner and oh no this way it really looks like it doesn't <laughs> not gonna make it I had it closer, way closer, but not going to make it. I'm pretty sure that tree's got to come out. Didn't really want to take it out, but I'm pretty sure it's going to have to come out. The problem is, that tractor is not going to take that stump out. So this is where you get creative. Luckily, now we can see them ruts right there, roots. I'm going to try to shovel them out the best I can. Put on a junk chain. I think the plan is. And cut a bunch of the roots. 
I'm not sure though. Other option is over over here to there, take out a row of trees. The problem is there's two big trees over there. So not sure what I'm gonna do. Those are kind of options so far. I think I'm gonna think about it a minute. And I'll let you know what I figure out. Okay guys, so got her unhooked. Got the trailer turned around. This tree does not does need to come out. But my vision is slow. I do try a lot of things, but with my vision, it's leaning that way and the limbs are this way. So it's kind of sketchy and I didn't want to take a chance of going the wrong way and fall on my truck. So that tree does need to come out, but not right now. So what I did was I just backed up the trailer, jackknifed it. Good thing about these trailers, it was, the truck was directly 90 degrees right here. And then we're just bringing the truck around the loop back up because right here is the driveway back up to it and hook up did have to cut a few trees back here but but all worked out there was a few more here that i want to take out and I'm gonna take out a few more here so dad don't you worry i got plenty of work for you up here a lot more work needs to be done but it's getting closer every time super excited this trailer's got to come up here to haul the log so we got to make it easily turn aroundable so as you can see let me try to back up and show you guys but Where's the trailer? Trailer's here somewhere. And so I want to take out some more there. So I can hug more to the side to make it. More stripped there. And then that bigger one over there to make that corner. And then we can easily just one pass to get them through. Yes. Developing. A forest yourself making it into what you want is a lot of hard work but you want something off grid you want something way you want it well i guess you got to get out there and do it remember don't let your disability hold you back you want to do it get out there and do it a little bit of hard work keeps you young All right that's another little spot that I just put the tractor to get out of the way, but I'm going to clear it. There's some stumps here from last year and some other brush. I think there's a knoll over there somewhere that needs to be taken out. But I'm going to kind of clear this out eventually too. Parking or whatever. Maybe I'll set up a little bunk for the chainsaw mill. I don't know. There are some... Um, beach down here that i found that i might take a piece of it to try out the chainsaw mill i haven't tried it yet you guys leave me a comment let me know if you want to see me use that chainsaw mill let you know how it works i'm kind of excited to like know how it works too or good it does but you can kind of see up the drive now that was a big knoll there pushed all that down there's a trailer so we can just back up to it but yeah and the more we kind of take out more it kind of brings in daylight which you've probably seen when i drove down the driveway earlier in the video at the beginning you know see how dark it is down there now it's pretty dark it's pretty dense forest and around by the cabin i'm going to take out probably a bunch of the saplings to let the bigger stuff grow um, but that's further. I was hoping to get all of them saplings pulled out of there by where the cabin's going, but you can only do so much. 
before you run out of time and daylight you don't want to completely wear yourself out either so happy with what we got done be a lot more on up here um working on this obviously we can't we don't live here because obviously we can't why we didn't do live in a tent there's too much work that needs to be done before but i will show you how i'm going to build the off-grid cabin over here see I'm trying to keep showing you guys because the orientation is kind of hard in video so you go up this trail and right there is where the cabin's going to be tucked away there there's a tree that's got to come out so we're good or done remember don't let your disability hold you back if you want to get out there and do something go do it i am super excited about all this you guys cannot tell you and i'll try to get more footage for you try not to let the um gopro battery die this video anyways thank you guys for watching remember to like subscribe share this with your friends this guy can't hardly see he's out here doing this stuff